Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. You will see the US 30 there is actually gapped a little bit lower this morning as most other uh, European equity markets are moving lower this morning on the back of um, the leftist Theresa party um, win over in Greece which caused the euro to uh, to move lower and many uh, mostly southern European regions uh, to move lower this morning as well where there is the idea that um, leftist party politics might take more of a centre stage depending on obviously how things pan out over in Greece, which was a widely expected uh, win for the for the party that came into prominence after the, um, the Greek riots in 2008, and um, very much anti-bailout, uh, very unlikely to be uh, a, a euro exit anytime soon, but some commentators will be talking about that. Um, but the euro did briefly get to one spot 11 earlier on, uh, before recovering a little bit, now we're at 112.24. So U.S. markets jumping from potential support at 17.546 during this bounce this morning. Next potential support is 17.361. Moving on to the UK 100, uh, after such a stellar run, we had a little bit of a, of a pushback there on Friday. Today uh, is not too bad, obviously the UK uh, not very exposed to, uh, to, the, to the Greek election aspect. Potential support is 67.71, potential resistance 69.06. Uh, and actually, the UK 100 is kind of brushing off any negative news elsewhere in Southern Europe. Um, but we are in the middle of two ranges right now. Uh, we might have a, a golden cross in the moving averages. Uh, other technicals are quite neutral, apart from the RSI, which is a little bit close to uh, to the 70% level, but not yet overbought. So, in theory, the UK 100 could actually still have further to go. Uh, usually, taking its lead from the US, which um, is apparently beginning to uh, feel the pain a little bit from that stronger US dollar longer term, as uh, they don't look quite so attractive uh, for their imports. Uh, it is much cheaper elsewhere. So looking at Japan 225, dollar yen still volatile as ever. Uh, Japan 225 moving in the right direction, uh, just poking its head above potential resistance at 17,496, still eyeing up uh, longer term highs at 18,306. That's not happened as of yet. So looking at that dollar yen, uh, still not a huge amount of having here. We're in this kind of wave formation, trading between two ranges, one spot seven, oh, sorry, 117 spot 36 and 119. Uh, maybe a death cross on the moving averages. Uh, other technicals are relatively neutral. MACD is still at the zero line. Maybe we're going to uh, uh, have a, a, a positive cross at some point. At some point, but it's not happened as of yet. So crude oil West Texas after uh, the previous Saudi king died, uh, and you now have the ascension of the new king, still retaining the same uh, oil minister. Um, crude, even though it did have a short-term spike up higher on uh, on the king's death. Uh, it's now come off again, uh, hitting an, uh, a low point there of 43 spot, $93, and this is West Texas. So $35.30 is still a long-term potential support. We've not had a meaningful technical break to the, to the lower side, but um, there isn't a huge amount of crude positive fundamentals due out. Obviously, you've got crude oil Wednesday to look forward to, but it's a few days away yet, so uh, the fundamentals are probably a little bit against crude in the short term. Gold. Um, gold is down a little bit on the back of that US dollar strength, um, unable to keep its head above $1,300. Longer term potential support remains at 1322 uh, Any reversal lower opens up 1273 Not much else to speak about gold, it's obviously had a great run up until now. Uh, a little bit of profit taking is not that surprising. Looking at your dollar, uh, your dollar did briefly, as I said, get down to well, actually hit uh, 11092, uh, one spot 1092. So that's the first, that's probably about seven and a half year low. 10786 is the next potential support, albeit we have had a bounce this morning, uh, but nothing of any significance. Weakness will still be on your dollar as uh, dollar strength is still uh, expected to, to rise. And if you then look at cable, Cable in the middle of two ranges between 148.13 and 151.84. Um, not much to talk about here, albeit you might have the tip of this candle here. So one spot 50.36 could be broken support, could act as now, as now a new potential resistance. So economic data wise, you do have uh, German IFO data due at 9 a.m. UK time and Eurozone retail sales, which will be quite important. And then on Tuesday, you've also got retail sales for the US and um, UK GDP, 
followed by durable goods and then you've also got CCI data as well. So keep your eye on the chart of form for more setups from our global analyst team. Make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.